sing you can sing here in just a few minutes praise God I got up this morning and uh, if you was here last night praise God I ain't never got over it yet amen amen they never got over it yet or night before life or Sunday night amen it's hard to get over it when you feel heaven come down right around you. You get to where you don't you want to stay in it all the time, but the body wears out. Yes, sir. This morning, in the wee hours of the morning, I woke up and had scripture on my mind. Worked hard today and still on my mind this evening. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the word of God and do what God has for me to do, and then if you've got a song on your heart, you mind the Spirit of God. Amen. God woke me up this morning, and things on my mind, and I begin to see things. Uh, sometimes you wouldn't believe what I can see. Uh, it's amazing to me, Brother Kenny, what you can see if you'll trust God. But I began to think, and I, I thought about all week, and I thought about last night, about God delivering. Amen. 
been on my mind all week, brother. How God has delivered. Yeah. How He's delivered His people. How He's touched those in need. How He give everything that you need tonight. Amen. Amen. To have what you need to get from here to glory. Praise God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And people just sit around and watch it go right by. Amen. And praise God. Amen. Just go right home. And still don't have what you need. Amen. Amen. Woke me up this morning with it on my mind. And I began to think about some things. Praise God. And if you will. He'll turn with me in the Word of God to the fifth chapter of the book of John. Amen. Now I don't know, praise God, about you, but amen, I got to thinking about these preachers that was anointed with God. Amen. And praise God, how did people say, Boy, I wish I had what they had. Oh my God, you got it. Amen. If you can use it. You see, these preachers ain't been double dipped. Hey man, you know what they've done? They've dedicated their life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And they gave it all, amen. They go when they don't feel good. They're there, praise God, when they've got other things to do. Can I get it, amen? Praise God. Come on, preach. We live in a day and time, amen. We're church people, amen. If you can get mad at me tonight, it's all right. You can get mad at me. But it's got to the place in time to where we won't schedule a revival till everybody can be there. Come on. Amen. And the biggest part of the time, we want to know who's going on vacation at what time, amen. Because we don't want to schedule a revival in somebody's vacation. Yeah. Come on. Preach, 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 brothers. It's all right, obey the Lord. God help us. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on. Let's get in the shot. Amen. Amen. Huh? Amen. 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 Bless him, Lord. Vacation. Oh, brother. Preach. Help him, Lord. Give him something. I'll just give you that for free. It won't cost you a dime. Amen. Do you think God's going to work for you? Huh? Come on. If you move a revival around, praise God, because you've got vacation. Come on. I'm going to preach a little. I'm going to give you something tonight. Hey, man, praise God, you can chew on I'm going to read a little bit. I want you to see something. And I want you to see what happened in the Word of God. Hey man, now you tell me where you stand. In this tent tonight, there's three kinds of people. You're right. Now you get mad at me if you want to. But there's a saved by grace. Amen. Amen. Was clean by the blood of the Lamb. And there's never written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Can I get an amen? And praise God that there's hypocrites. That's the embrace God profess to be a child of God and live like hell. Can I get a You say you can't live like hell and be a child of God. Praise the Lord, brother. Come on, preach. Yeah. And then there's the lost. Amen. Those that don't proclaim to be nothing. You know what you're here for? You're looking for something from God. Amen. 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 Say, preacher, I try to live right and I can't. You know why? Because you ain't given to Jesus. That's right. That's right. Amen. And I'm so all over, I feel like I've been run over by a Mack truck. I don't know how everybody else feels, amen. Praise God, I'm going to preach a little bit. This is what God woke me up on, amen. Fifth chapter of the book of John, very familiar scripture. I want to read it to you and I want you to hear what God showed me this morning. The Bible said in the fifth chapter of the book of John, starting in the first verse, He said, after, the Jew, after there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up up to Jerusalem. Listen, now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. And the Bible said in these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. Amen. 
Amen. You see now, I'm going to stop right there just a minute. Yes, amen. amen. Now this modern day bunch that we live in today, amen, will tell you that if you don't want to pray, amen, you just go home and pray wherever you can. If you don't like to pray in a crowd, amen, or you're ashamed to get up in front of people, amen, you just go home and pray. I've got news for you tonight. Praise God, you'll pray where God says to pray or you won't get it. Can I give it amen? Honey, the Bible I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, bless you, bless you. One night I was preaching revival and there's a visiting preacher came from way off somewhere. Hey man, praise be unto God. And, and you could tell. Hey, well, I ain't even going to say that. I might get in trouble for that. Praise God. Hey man, I, mean, I got to be careful. Hey man, you got to watch, bro. Yeah. But at the time, Brother Kenneth Clark went and he prayed every time the door was open. Every time he was a young preacher and he prayed every time the altar was open. And that man made fun of him. Amen? Well, I don't know about you, sister, but I get stirred up a whole lot worse if you pick on somebody I love. Amen? Rather than me. Can I get an amen? So I said something, amen, in order to get my mouth shut. But I got in trouble. Come on, bro. Yeah. Not with the Baptist, but with God. That's right. Amen. I tried to pray. Amen. Praise God all over Ice Town. I'd get in a ditch up a little horse creek when conviction would fall on me. It wouldn't come. Come on, hippie boy. Hey man. Yeah. Come on, brother. Couldn't sleep. Days went by. Yeah. Come on. Couldn't feel the power of God. That's right. Amen. You see, when you got sin in your life, God can't bless you. Right. Yeah. Come on. Hey, I'm just going to preach what God said. Come on. Yeah. One evening I was over at Holly Myers when they had the furniture place in there and we used to clean carpet. I used to clean carpet for a living. I was in there scrubbing the rugs and praise God, here coming an old deacon in I knew. He said, how you doing preacher? I said, I ain't worth killing. I said, my God, I've messed up. Come on, and I said, I can't pray through. He said, I'll pray for you. And he left. Now somebody's going to get a hold of this. Everybody ain't going to understand it. Praise God. 
About five minutes went by, Jared, and all at once the door flew back open. There come out old Deacon, and the tears are running down his jaw. He said, God just spoke to my heart. He said, Preacher, to come back and pray with you. Hey! Amen. You know where God had me a praying? Right out in the middle of the parking lot. And traffic is going by. But he found so good I couldn't quit. Amen. God gets a hold of you, that's right. You won't care, praise God, if a president's just standing here. Right. 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 I'm going to preach a little. Man, He's laying there, brother, was in the firm, he said, man, people sitting around all over the country, praise God, and sin in their life. <laughs> Some of them's been touched before, and they know what it feels like. Yeah. But they didn't move. Yeah. So you know what they're waiting on now? The same thing I was waiting on. Yeah. For God to move again. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Yeah. Woo! You can pray without Him, but praise God, you won't get through. And the Bible said, now listen. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. And whosoever then first after the trouble of the water stepped in was made whole and of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity for thirty and eight years. And the Bible said when Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been there a long time in that case, he said unto him, Wilt thou be made whole? Amen. I want to stop right there just a minute. Praise God, I was about to bust. When my eyes flew open this morning, I began to see things. Amen. Hey, I heard. Amen. And I preached it a minute your time about how God troubled the water. Hey man, and how you can't get it without it. And I believe you can't. But I want to preach to somebody tonight. Hey man, it's in the same boat this man was. You see, they had a time limit. And he'd been there. You see, they'd been there for 38 years. You know what he saw, Travis? He saw God work. And everybody around him. He saw him get up. Them he didn't talk to everybody. For 30 and 8 years, he watched God touch everybody around him. Are you hearing me? God said this morning you'd be here. He never lied to me yet. That's right. That's one thing God can't do, and that's why. Amen. So I'm just going to take my time tonight. I said it last night, and I'll say it again. Amen. If you don't want nothing to do with God, I ain't looking for you. Amen. I'm not looking for you. If you don't, if you come in here with an attitude, I don't want a thing from God, and I'm just coming to see what's going on. Hey, I ain't looking for you. Amen. I'm looking for that one, praise God, has got a desire Amen. for the things of God. Amen. Amen. Hey, man, instead of looking, hey, man, and seeking God, listen to me. That old boy laid there for 30 and 8 years, and he watched and saw the glory of God. Surely to God you've seen it all around you. Amen. Hey, God's blessed. Hey, man, everybody around you that he's touched. Amen. Amen. God's delivered. Amen. Somebody sitting out here in this tent, praise God, has got your mind made up you want. That's right. Amen, Paul. Say, preacher, you lost your mind. Well, I've been crazy about a lot of things. But I'm here to tell you, I ain't too crazy tonight. I know what God said this morning, brother. Sit there and watch the 
for 30 and 8 years. How long have you seen it? <laughs> said, how you know, preacher, you ain't touched me. You're still laying on the pole. Right. Yeah, don't get quiet tonight. Amen. It's the truth. Yeah, brother. Yeah. People still laying on the porch in their infirmities. Yeah. Yes. Exactly right. If you read the word of God, brother Don Barker, the ones that God touched, got up and walked tall. come all around you, you still ain't God. You hear people talk about how good it is. Hey man, you still ain't God. Hey, come on, say preacher, you just, I'm just telling you what God said this morning. You see the evidence of God drawing people out of their chairs, hey man, and coming to an old fashioned altar and getting up, hey man, and not going back to the liquor bottles. Not going back to the holy Not going back to the hell he left in. Come on, brother. Help him, Lord. Bless him. There's an old boy asked me a while ago. I ain't always a pretty been a preacher, have I? Hey, man, as a matter of fact, far from it, ain't sister. An old boy asked me a while back. He said, how'd you do it? I said, how'd I do what? <laughs> I'm going to read on. I'm going to tell you the same thing. This old boy's going to tell you. I said, what? Done what? He said, how did you quit drinking? How did you, li how did you live right? Come on, I brother. said, praise God, it ain't me. That's exactly. Amen. Hey, I said, that drunk laid down on the altar one night. Yes. Hey, I yeah. give it all to this man called you. Yeah. And I said, that I've got to have a hey. guy's a new man. Yes. Brother Ted Gilly, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Praise God, hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Hey, no one yeah. come off the pole began to preach. It was so real. Hey, man, and men and women, when they believed in this man called Jesus, they were a new creature. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Their whole world changed. Amen. 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 Amen.
stand up for a I might not to okay. I might not could remember the day. But I'll never forget what God's done in my life. Amen. Amen. You see, they talk about this stuff. Amen, Jamie. They didn't nobody know me. Huh? I was drunk 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's three hours, three years in my life that there's nothing but a black place. No remembrance, nothing. Amen. <coughs> my memory's not good now. That's the reason, sister, I have to have all those markers in my Bible because when it's on my mind, I have to mark it or I'll never find it again. So you're crazy, praise God. I'm telling you the truth. That's right. Young lady, that's what the drugs and alcohol will do for you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, you know what the doctors say that every time a man or a woman passes out on alcohol, it kills so many brain cells, amen? Yeah. Hey, the yeah. of God, amen. I thank God tonight that I'm not all the way brain dead. Hey, let's the of God. I'm glad that I serve a God of restoration, amen. He take it, amen. But you your right mind. Hey, glory to God. Hey, man, brother. Amen. God saved me. I went home. I poured it out in a barrel and burned it. <laughs> Come on, that's right. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Now, now I'm gonna preach for you. You better get ready. <laughs> you get saved, you won't hide your little back in the freezer. Amen. Preach. Somebody heard. Amen. You get what you need, you won't have no need. Amen. For Budweiser, can I get an amen? amen. Amazing to me this day and time, Jeff, that nobody finds no fault in nothing. Right. Right. True. Come on. I'm going to put you, man. Come on. 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 Little beer ain't going to hurt you. That's a lot right out of here. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. There's a little man who used to live on a little horse cruise. Got to meet him when he was lost. Meanest little fella ever met in my life. I was lost and I thought he was mean. Amen. But he loved kids. He loved my two little boy and her girls, praise God, just like he was his own. And every time I'd go by, he'd beg me to stop. Amen. Amen. Kept little parakeets, you remember them, Caleb. And he'd take them through the house and show them all them pretty little birds. Well, he got sick. <coughs> He got cancer. And every night, Sister Sally, he would take a little shot glass and he'd pour him about that much liquor in. And that's all he drank. No harm in it. That's what he said. Until he got sick. And he went into the hospital. Come on. And when he couldn't get that little shot glass, with just a sip of liquor in it. He went into DT's. Yes. Are you listening to me? Yes. People say there's no harm in it, but his body couldn't do without it. He was done hooked and he had control over it. Hey! Come on! But you know what happened, brother? One evening, brother, I stopped by the face for me. And I got to leave the Lord. Hey, man, you know what I have? I shot my Come on. Come on, man. I pray to God. I pray to God. Hey, man, I'm listening to you. Hey, I'm listening to you. Hey, man, I pray to God. 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 Oh, yes, pray. 
Hallelujah. Are you hearing me tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And great prayer. And great glory tonight. And I'm going to give you Hallelujah. something. Hallelujah. I told you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just can't believe you're going to do this. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
It's what you'll answer tonight. Yes, sir. The Lord just walked right up and He said, I know how long you've been in this case. He hasn't been there for 38 years. You know what He said? Well, thou be made whole. Yes, sir. What do you want tonight? Come on. You tired of watching everybody else be blessed? Amen. Tired of seeing people get right with God and break the addiction and go on for Jesus? Huh? You tired of it and knowing that you're still in the same place? If I'd have still been the same person that I was, hey, back 20 years ago, I'd have been dead and in hell a long time ago. Can I get it? Hey! Praise be to God! God would have shut the door on me, Kenny! That's right. Come on. Come on, brother. Help you, Lord. I've even got something for religious people tonight. <laughs> You see, I ain't a preaching religion. I'm preaching salvation. Amen. Yes, I'm preaching. Amen. Been there longer than anybody else. It's all the glory of God more times than the rest of us. Amen. Amen. But yet, when he believed Jesus Christ, the Bible said he took up his bed and he went away leaping and praising God. Hey, hey come on. That's and the Bible said they asked him huh, what happened to him. It's unlawful for him to carry his bed on the Sabbath day. Ain't that the way it is? Come on. Church people want you to get saved. Do you get saved? Amen. Then if you don't do it their way, they're mad at you. Can I get an amen? I'm here to tell you. Praise God. The Bible said you sin just like everybody else. Yeah. He said we have all sinned. And come short of the glory of God. Amen. So that tells me we're all in need. Every one. Yes, sir. The key is, praise God, you're going to keep away and you're going to get up and walk out. Amen. 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 This old boy needed. You know what he said when Jesus asked him? It's just like everybody else. They've all got an excuse. Why they don't go to church or why they ain't got right or why it ain't happening for them. I tell you why it ain't happening. Because you don't want it, amen. You know why? Ash County ain't saved. They don't want to be saved. They found joy in the hell we're living in. Can I get an amen? Mr. <laughs> Wimble, this old boy said, Lord, at the trouble of the water, somebody gets in before me. Amen. Jesus don't even care tonight, Brother Don, praise God, how, how many times people try. All he cares tonight when you be made whole. Amen. He might see the night, your night. Yes, sir. Amen. Said you sure things will change in my life? Let me preach with it. No Come on, brother. Come on. Right here's an old boy who lived there for 38 years, lived right there with his buddies, amen, on the porch of affliction, and watched each one get up one right after another with the glory of God on them. Right. When God touched him, amen, I know what his answer was, brother. Before I ever read it in the Word of God, you know how I know what he, hey, how he answered, Brian? It's because, praise God, there's evidence. Yes, sir. If you, hey, if you believe Jesus tonight, there'll be evidence in your life tomorrow that you touch somebody beside this Word. Can I get it? If you lay back 
report you ain't got what you need. You're right. Amen. 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 Say, but preacher, some people's weak. Yeah, I know they are, but Jesus ain't. Amen. That's it. Let me lay this on you, whether you want it or not. Jesus does not halfway say. You're right. Amen. 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 Yeah. People come for one reason or another, sister. You ever notice that? I've been in this thing for about 20 years now. I've watched many a person walk out and come down with some stuff, amen, and some didn't. And you know what? I watched real close. My wife tells me all the time, she said, you watch too close. Paul, I tell you right now, if I drive up to a red light, I'm looking at the people on the side of me on both sides. She says, you're going to start people. My God, if they shoot me, praise God, I'm going to identify them. Hey, can I get an amen? Hey, it's time you better look around. Hey, man, the devil's a raging amen. And he'll take your family to hell if you're not real careful. Can I get an amen? I watch real close. And you know what I found out about those that didn't stick? They just went right back into the same mess as in. And they always come for somebody else. Right. Amen. Go ahead, preacher. That's exactly right. You don't tell the truth. They either come for the family. That's right. Or they come and give their life to the Lord thinking God will put their family back together. Amen. Come on. You better get right with God when He puts it back together. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. Come on. Yes. Amen. 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 When I got saved that Friday night, the same night my wife did, praise God, I did not have my wife on my mind. That's right. Amen. Amen. I thank God got saved. I do. Praise God when I got saved, brother. The only person I had on my mind was on day five. Right. Yeah, I was the one dying. Yes. Hey! What's I was the one going to hell. That's right. I was the one lost. I'm just like this old boy. I've been there 38 years. I've been there a long time, Jerry. Hey, brother Dennis Weaver was standing beside me in the back view. Woo! God, the preacher won't have to call you on Wednesday to get you to come on Sunday. Right. Right. Oh, That's right, brother. You'll have a desire to be in the yes, house. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 That's Amen. the truth. 
I found out a long time ago, praise God, you run people to death, praise God. And you know what you lose? You cause them to lie. <coughs> they'll promise you they'll be there to get you out of their house. Come on. All of these That's right. Oh, God, you know I'm preaching. Yes, sir. Amen. Yeah, God. Amen. You don't worry about how late it is. That's right. You don't worry about how many people's there. Come on, preacher. Matter of fact, when the Holy Ghost moved, amen, Rick is talking about hindering people. Praise God, I didn't even know he's here. Amen. <laughs> huh? I didn't see him last night. And I'm here to tell you, I don't believe anybody had come to this altar last night. Huh? I've seen anybody around. You know why? Because you had your mind on Jesus. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you one more point, and I'm gonna hush. You might want to sing you something, you do whatever you want to. We're gonna make another altar. And I hope tonight it don't last some of yours. I hope you're ready to do something. <laughs> Life's <laughs> not as long as all we call in history, praise God. Amen. Yeah. 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 I might be the craziest preacher you'll ever meet. There's another thing I want to make sure that you understand. This boy may have been there 30 years ago, he may have been there longer than anybody else. But when Jesus touched you, that's right. Come on. When Jesus come back through the come, He didn't have to fight for the fortune anymore. Amen. He found Him in the temple. You're right. Huh? Yes, sir. He found Him in the house of God. Amen. And Jesus told Him, He said, Go and sin no more, lest words come upon you. That's what He said. Amen. You know what? It's a hard thing for a child of God to be caught in sin. Now, let me explain what I'm talking about. I'm just going to slow down. We'll have church. I'm wore out. Amen. Bless the Lord. my God. I'm in the tent. Jesus said, Go sin no more, lest the worst come upon you. <coughs> if you're a child of God here tonight, praise God, and you've got sin in your life, I'm going to tell you something. You're between a rock and a hard place. That's right. The Lord said, We're not among them that draw back. That's right. He said, My spirit has no pleasure in them that draw back. Right. A child of God is miserable. You know why you're miserable? Because you can't fit in in the world anymore. No matter how much you try, there's no pleasure in it. It'll catch up with you. And you can't fit in in the house of God. There's sin in your life. You know why? Because them old long-winded preachers will come along and jerk a cover off. Amen. 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 You know why people get their feelings hurt? Come on. I'll let you know this too. Go I don't know a thing about nobody now. Nothing. I like it like that. See, I can preach right out of glory. It don't bother me a bit. <laughs> when people get mad at the preachers because of this, you know you're not in the same job. Right. But you don't want to get to tell you about it. Come on. Amen. Somebody say, man, we're going to have to. Because God said it this morning, brother. I believe that's all my heart. Somebody's watched the glory of God happen all around them, amen, and you still ain't God. Could you imagine what happened in Ice County Jail? Well, that crazy fella right there. <laughs> you think he's crazy now? You already know him years ago. Amen. When he gave his life to Jesus, and when he started telling them boys about Jesus, and he walked out of that jail cell, brother. 
they know that boy something had hold of him. Come on, man. Come on, man. Huh? Come on, man. Amen. Amen. When you give your life to Jesus over oh, yonder in the prison, you want to take everybody around as you know. Amen. Amen. And whenever you come out of that place, praise God, got in the house of God and start going. Oh my God, amen. God made a Sunday school teacher out of you. And I might add, praise God, one of the best that I know of. Hey, come on, praise God. Changing lives. Hey, look at that. Oh my God, I'm about to cry. We was working for a fellow, me and Cliff McCoy, he's sitting right back here, he'll tell you the truth. And this man's well up in the church in the Vice County. I was working one morning, and praise God, Brother Jamie Ham's one of our best Sunday school teachers for our kids, and I can tell you right now, our young people will fight for this man right here. Amen. 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 And they ain't the only one. Amen. Now listen to me. And this fella had a house right on above Jamie's mom and dad. And he said, he, he started talking about it. And I, I was listening pretty close. So I like to sit back and listen now. Yeah. And he started off like this. So that old Jamie Ham, when he got out of prison, must have left the country. I just can't believe it. He said, yeah, I've got a trailer load of tools right above his mom and dad. He said, I know he ain't in this country no more. He said, nobody's seen him. He said, I know he ain't in this country because if he'd have been in this country, the trailer tools and all would have been stolen. I just kept on listening. He said, there ain't nobody ever seen him since he got out of the pen. I said, praise God, I saw him. He said, where did you see him? I said, no. Actually, one of the best friends I've ever had. I loved him so much when he was lost. Praise God, I pray for you and I'd start home and I'd cry all the way to the house. My young is just a little girl. Back then, she'd say, Daddy, you sure love that boy. I said, you have no idea. And brother, one Wednesday night, I'll never forget that man, praise God. Now, I've told this before. Only degree I've ever owned, I had in my life, amen, anything I ever finished in the higher year of school. And I've got a degree in it. Ain't worth killing to hire somebody else to shoot the horse. Ain't that the way we are? Too sorry to even show them. Man. I took a plan, can't do no one. It's hard, it's killing me. Hey, man, but I, hey. I got out of the class, hey, amen, and Jeff called me. He said, didn't you take corrective horse And I said, yes, I'll do it. He said, I've got an old Meyer over here that fixed for all pieces since you come and fix it for me. I said, I'll be out over. It's on Wednesday night. Never forget. Me and Brother Jeff Eisley and some of them old boys he run with us in that barn we was shooting that old horse. Dark traffic say, man, praise God, I just had me a time. <coughs> this little light's gonna go on to be at Jesus. She come out of Sugar Tree Church on Wednesday night. Here she come that she was fiery little sister. <laughs> she just won't even hurt you too. <laughs> yeah, man, thanks, brother. She walked right into the barn where me and them boys sat on. But she won't be happy. She said, this is a pretty looking out. A preacher over here in the barn with this bunch. <laughs> well, hey, this. Is that not what she said? Man? She said, it's a pretty looking out hanging around with this bunch. Praise God, brother. The life revival meeting I saw her in. Me and his brother sat in the church together. She come to me with tears in her eyes. And she said, I want to apologize for what I said to you. And I wish you not. Said, God, know no more about it than I did. Said, I thank God. Hey, listen to me. Hey, build a God. I thank God that God saved him. Hey, man, made a child of God out of him. Amen. 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 Amen.
You see, you won't write horses with a crazy preacher. Praise God, unless something's touched. Amen. Amen. You see, this ain't a joke. A lot of people wait all their life for God to touch them. Some people get touched several times to slay that on the moon. This boy saw it move for 38 years. Every time he turned around, Chris Priest got somebody being blessed. Somebody's getting up. Huh? You see, I'm a firm believer. Now listen, I'm, I'm rooted and grounded, brother, on what I believe. I truly believe that the Lord Jesus Christ can save a man back. Come on now. Does anybody know what I'm preaching? Come on now. Hey, God, come on. Hey, hey, look out now. Praise God, I believe that the God that I serve can save him from making that stuff. I see him say, oh boy, hey man, burn his building down. Why is in the house of God, hey amen. You know why? Praise God, he's a running off some man. Why is in a church with his wife? God save him, brother. He knows he didn't need that stuff. Hey, glory to God. He saved him, saved his wife, saved his brother. God will preach. Imagine that. Look at that. God told me this morning that there'll be somebody here tonight that's watched everybody around you. And God touched you and you want what they've got. Several months ago, we got to preach out at Ball Mountain, and I thank God for an opportunity to preach amen. in that church. I've never been to such a big church, they may not scare me there. <laughs> But I asked the same question that night, Brother Don Barker. I asked him, I said, Praise God, we've got anybody here to save off a mess. BJ Pitt stood up. Yeah. And there was somebody in that congregation that used to do drugs to that boy. And just seeing his testimony, he said, I knew that if God could save that boy, that they'd vote for me. Yeah. You know what he done? He walked the aisle for Jesus. See, if God can do it for us, He can do it for you. Amen. Somebody get you a song. I ain't going to keep you here all night. Amen. Praise God. God said this morning when I woke up, my eyes wide open. I was preaching this scripture. Amen. God said you'd be here. I said, Lord, are you sure? He said, I'm going to bring them. Amen. Yeah. He said, I'll have them there. Come on. Praise God. Have you got a desire for the things of God? How many times are you going to watch God bless all around you? Come on. Yeah. Wouldn't it be one tonight? Because I'd like to get right with God. Wouldn't it be one tonight, please God? That's miserable. Come on. You know you ain't where you ought to be. That's right. Huh? Would well, there be one tonight, praise God, quit living for God and went back and laid down on the porch? God still stirred and walked. When my way groweth three, precious Lord, linger near. Would there be one, praise God, tonight, when you step out and be honest with God?
Precious Lord, lead me home. Pray God, finish the night. Pray to draw the fire of God. Lord, I'm stirring the water tonight. Won't you come? Lord, I'm stirring the water tonight. Won't you come? Pray to God, quit thinking about it for a long time. Lord, I thank you. Pray to God, quit thinking about it. And do something about it.
He said, I know what you have need of before you can ask. He said, whoever should call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And he said, if you believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, he said, you can be saved. If you can believe that and call on his name, he won't come into your heart until you open up and ask him to come in. But if you'll do that tonight, praise God. Hey, glory to the Lamb of God. Father, we love Jesus. I finish your faith and call him on your name. According to the authority of my God's word, I ask you, Lord, and I promised him.
Now, sweet, sweet Jesus, hold my hand. Just lead me on to the promised land. By the eye of faith I see. I'm so glad that beautiful heaven is waiting for me. Now I'm walking in the highway that leads home. I'm eating from a table that ever stays full. I'm drinking from a fountain that never runs dry. And I'm going to a country where we'll never more die. <laughs> <laughs> On a hill called Calvary, Jesus, my Lord, suffered for me. And they carried him you away, placed him in the grave. You sing the Lord Lord tonight. What are you working on? Surely oh, come they on, say, you pray. that this was hey, man. the end you of You pray for these young people. Huh? But on that third day, you don't understand. Praise God, I understand. Hey, Lord God, the 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 Lord No greater love my mortal man has ever been known. And praise his dear name, he loves me so. Now I am his, he's mine, I know. He suffered it all. He suffered it all. Because he loved me, because he loved me. Come on. Do you need to pray? Come on. I'm going to tell you right now. When the Lord comes, praise God, or death finds you at your home, you give anything to go back to this night. Amen. Amen. Because there's nothing more important than giving your life to Jesus. There's nothing more important to your children. You know, before I got saved, I thought I loved my family. I didn't know what love was. Come on. Huh? Come on. Moms and dads, don't your children deserve to know Jesus? Huh? Don't you know you're going to either, amen, lead them to heaven or send them to hell? The preacher, I don't believe that. Do you know you can teach your kids to drink beer? Do you know you can teach them how to do math? I promise you they'll follow your footsteps. I'm going to hug. There was a man who died one day. Jesus, our Savior, was his 
Don't it feel good to touch Jesus? Amen? Amen? All these young people to give their life to the Lord, praise God. Or rededicate their life, church. You've got an obligation to them to pray for. You've got an obligation, amen, for the Lord to help them and pray for them. And when they mess up and they make a mistake, praise God, don't put them down. Amen, but help them. Pray for them. Pray for them. Love them. The Bible said love will cover a multitude of sins. Anybody else want to pray? There's a bright side somewhere. All right, I ain't going to beg you. There's a bright side Praise God, you come back tomorrow. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you rest. And now 